all right guys welcome to a brand new video today today we're going to be focusing on D director's cut three i didn't make anything on director's cut one or two only because they did not focus on pvp which is mainly what my channel's focused on now for those of you wondering brave you know why are you focusing on this i get asked a lot brave what are your thoughts on the changes coming and these are pretty much my summarized thoughts on the changes that were mentioned and changes that are coming i'm not going to be reading this verbatim because it would be it would be pretty crazy guys and i'm not gonna i'm just gonna be giving my thoughts because if i read this you know it would be a very long video and i want this to be somewhat somewhat short five minutes right so luke smith talked about supers and how rampant they are and that when you see a super ultimately your main decision was to run away give up or jump off the map so a couple months ago they mentioned that they want to lower uh roaming super damage resistance which is great dawn blades and, and smash titans they have a lot of damage resistance so stuff like that guys will be lowered in shadow keep which is awesome <clears throat> the next one is going to be they want to be reduced the effectiveness of orbs refilling super meter what does that mean if you ever see three orbs on the ground and you pick them up pretty much gave you half a super they want to reduce the effectiveness of orbs so who knows maybe that gives you like a, a third of the a super or half of that of half of what it was before which is great that's what needed to be done and reduce the super energy gain from kills and assist another good part here guys in destiny 2 we get a lot of assists so if you shoot somebody in the big toe and someone snipes them in the head you still get super energy because ultimately you helped kill him so my overall thoughts on this this is great this is what we needed guys supers are getting adjusted super damage resistance getting adjusted super mods again they didn't mention super mods per se but they ended up mentioning orbs on refilling supers getting adjusted and the last one is getting super energy gain on kills and assists so my thoughts again guys all this is great news the first three minutes of a crucible game is great and then it would go to complete crap because it was nothing but dawn blades smash titans spectre blades all the entire game which is super boring so my thoughts on this this is a 10 for 10 for bungie you did the right thing now getting into the next part of the director's cut guys where it's going to go into heavy ammo available bungie talks about how heavy ammo is pretty much pretty bad in destiny 2 right now again in the beginning of destiny uh, destiny 2 heavy ammo was pretty slow you wouldn't get a lot of it games were really slow they ended up changing it but now they're going to be reducing the amount of heavy ammo per brick in pvp for certain 6v6 archetypes i'm pretty sure the hammerhead's going to get adjusted so it's not the changes aren't going to be exactly like d1 when a player cracks open a heavy crate uh, other players have a window of time to interact with it and get their heavy ammo so hopefully guys again they were t they were very vague on this one here hopefully the changes come up as in like d1 style it shows up once a game everybody gets a chance to get it again very vague but at least they're mentioning it and they're addressing it so in my opinion and my thoughts on this guys heavy ammo was pretty rampant and heavy ammo was pretty dumb so again this is this is these are good changes hopefully shadow keep it hopefully in shadow keep we see these changes so my thoughts again great 10 for 10 bungee so getting into the last portion guys which is going to be let's talk about pvp part five again i'm not going to read this because again it would be a long video so trials of the nine is going to stay on hiatus they emphasize nine trials of the nine will stay on hiatus does that mean trials of osiris is coming back they didn't say it was coming back but again they did not say it was not coming back Aha. so they want to get back into the common number of three if you go into a strike there's three of you after the strike you guys go can go into a crucible game three of you you guys want to go to the nightfall there's three of you they want to go into that number so threes and sixes so again they're going to be changing the playlist to fit that so getting into the major changes guys we remove the quick play and competitive notes from the director awesome if you're looking for an experience like quick play we added classic mix a connection based playlist like quick play today classic mix includes control clash and supremacy competitive is replaced by 3v3 survival which now awards glory 3v3 survival is awesome guys pretty much like a a game of skirmish but with with lives so in my opinion that that is a good change no more 4v4 no more countdown 4v4 we also added a survival solo queue playlist that awards glory that right there is huge for my solo queue people out there who have a are struggling to go against teams of three this is a survival solo queue playlist you can go in there and it, hey if you can clutch up some games you can get some easy glory points who knows maybe you can make some friends in the place in my opinion that is a 10 for 10. next one guys we've added 6v6 control as its own playlist that's awesome i've always just wanted to go play control i hate playing clash sometimes and again this is huge with the potential influx of new players this fall we want to have a playlist that signals to new players that this is where to start 
we feel like 6v6 control is the right starting place when introducing new friends to Destiny. We've added a six, a weekly 6v6 rotator and a weekly 4v4 rotator. These rotator playlists are where modes like Clash, Supremacy, Mayhem, Lockdown, and Countdown will appear. That's awesome there. So if you still want to play Countdown, just wait for the weekly rotator playlist to come up. And the last thing, guys, they mentioned was going to be we removed some underperforming maps for matchmaking too. So all the time, you would see people get Equinox and it would go to orbit. Hopefully, Equinox is one of the maps. They did not mention that. So they mentioned that 3v3 elimination trial style is going to be coming into Crucible Labs. There are going to be some stuff missing like voiceover and no unique medals. But for the most part, guys, they just want your opinion on this. They want your feedback on elimination, which in my opinion is going to be great. I'm excited for this. Along with elimination, they're going to be bringing back Widow's Court. Thank God. And Twilight Gap. Oh my God. Another thank God out there, which is two maps that we needed and that are awesome. So again, guys. Once it comes into Crucible Labs, go out there and give your opinion on it. So additionally, we've taken a longer look at matchmaking overhaul the skill, the skill matchmaking system. Again, what are they saying here? They're saying that they want to kind of balance it. So we're preserving the behavior of connection matchmaking in a 6v6 classic mode. So if you want something that you don't really want to get in any skill based matchmaking, in, you're going to want to stick to 6v6 classic mode. The next thing, though, if you want some sort of. How do I say it? skill based matchmaking that's going to be in the 6v6 competitive mode or 6v6 control mode sorry about that and other stuff is going to factor in there so the next one we are refactoring how players gain glory ranks with these skill match changes we're factoring in your skill value to glory gains and losses so that the number can more effectively represent your skill again guys they're finding a different way to focus it as in skill based matchmaking but another term and a more fair system so if you want some sort of skill based matchmaking all the other players are going to have that except for the classic 6v6 so in my opinion guys this is huge uh they're adding a lot of changes to the playlist especially 3v3s i know a lot of people were kind of burnt out with 4v4s in my opinion i was burnt out with 6v6s due to the you know this the heavy ammo system and the supers but a lot of these changes look good in my opinion, Shadow Keep is looking good, and I think there's still more to come in these upcoming weeks. Again, these are just a few of the changes. These are my thoughts. Supers getting adjusted. Great. Power Ammo getting adjusted. Great. Playlist getting changed. Comp getting changed. Great and great and great. So again, if you guys want, in my opinion, all these changes mentioned are great. If you guys want to read the whole thing, it's going to be in the description. Again, I just wanted to touch up on a few of these. So hopefully you guys have a great day, and I'll see you in the next video. Hey, did you enjoy the video? Click right there for a random video. Click right there for my latest video. Stay up to date with BraveX Hero. If you haven't followed me on Twitch, I recommend it. Go do it right now. Twitch.tv slash BraveX Hero. New to the channel? Subscribe button right there. Click it. Do it. Do it now. I'll see you guys in the next video.